Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can connect Power BI with Microsoft Access data and imports its data and tables. So Microsoft Access as you know is one of the common data source or the database which is provided by Microsoft and it's one of the very oldest data set that you have. So let's go ahead within the Power BI and see how we can import it. So here we are within the Power BI and if I click over here on the get data option then it will show me the list of data sources. Now I have this access database over here. So once I click on the access database and click on connect it will show me where I want to or the location from where I want to fetch the data. So I have the information here in the very simple uh, database which is a sales database. And as you can see the extension that it has is ACCDB which is access database file. Now if you are using the old database then you may have to choose a different settings like the OLADB provider and all. So I will show you how you can uh, also go through via that option. So I'll just double click for now here on the sales database and it will going to get the information about the table it contains. As I mentioned, it's a very simple data set and this is the table that I have. If I want to preview, I have just selected that but not enabled it. Just selected it so that I can see the preview. In case if you have, let's say 15, 20 or even 100 tables, you can basically select each, uh, any single table or multiple tables if in case you want to load the data. So here, this is the contents of the table which is present here. Now I want to load it so I will just enable that and click on load. Once I start loading you will have the processing which is going on right now and in a couple of seconds and you can see 96,000 rows is what it has uh, imported. So if I go over here on this table option which I think it will going to enable in a minute it's maybe doing some processing on it. Yeah. So you have these columns which has come from that database and if I come over here the same database table you will going to see it over here. Now this is part of your data model by which you can start creating your query but like I mentioned if you want to import multiple files you need to just keep on enabling the section the checkbox and it will going to import all of the files and it will be shown over here in the data model section right now you have only sales file but when you will select multiple files or multiple tables they will be part of your data model over here and then you can even establish the relationship among the various different tables so that's a very simple and straightforward approach of importing the data from microsoft access now coming back to the second option about oladb which is uh, useful in case if you have an older database so you will come come over here on the get data again and in the other you will find the option of oladb and even odbc so the these are the two options that you have uh, that will help you connect with almost any database so if i just click on the oladb and click on connect it will start showing me the connection string which you can even build it as well and if you will see you have the various different options like uh, Microsoft Office 12 Access Database Engine and couple of other options in case if you have those historical data set. And then, you know, it's about building up, uh, selecting this and building up the connection, which I am leaving it because it's a very straightforward uh, approach of providing the data source, its location and everything based on the database that you are selecting, whether it is SQL Server, or whether it is from analysis services or Microsoft Access 12.2 database engine for OLEDB provider. So that's quickly about how you can even utilize the, or you have the option of OLEDB. Generally, it's not directly available. So usually, usually you know, you get to know that, or you, you may be wondering where this option is present. So the option is in the other section. So that's about it and um, how you can import the data from Microsoft Access within the Power BI. And now I'll meet you in the next video.